I ain't never seen this down here. I'm actually getting a little bit hot. We're playing Christmas music. For some reason now, they are clamoring to go outside. This is a classic meal when you don't know what to make. Well, good news, bad news on that one. Uh-oh. It's 51 degrees outside, you guys. We live in Florida now. 51 degrees. <laughs> There's a little cold front coming through, so we're talking her out here. That's right. Holy cow. We're kind of used to it being from the north, but, uh, you know, my blood's gotten a little bit thinner since I've been down here, so I don't mind telling you I'm a little chilly. No. Lows in the 50s. Highs 72 today. Is that right? So that's nice, yeah. But it'll be back up to 80s next week. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. Phew. Yeah. Phew. But you look cool. I love your, I love your get up. Thanks. Yeah. Shit. He's rocking it. I was asking him, you know, do you think that um, people in Florida, like, do they have cool, like, cool, cold clothes? Like, neat? You know what I mean? Not neat. Right. right? What do you right. think? Because when you're in Maryland, you mm -hmm. actually have to wear it all the time. Yeah. You get nice cold right. clothes. But down here, no. You don't really they buy no, cold clothes. No, yeah. They don't have any cold drip. So you're rocking it. Like you walk in, you're like, yeah. yeah. I'm like, cool. Like this little uh, final over the sweatshirt combo. Mm -hmm. It's everywhere in Maryland. But they ain't never seen this down here. <laughs> they ain't never seen this I down here. It. <laughs> Very nice. All right, well, you go rock it with your cold clothes. Three. Teach him how to do it down here, babe. I will. Yeah. I'll show him what's up. Yeah. There are other people from the north down here, though, so you might see a few of those. Yeah. You, you can identify. That's pretty much how you'll identify. Go, like, where are you from? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yo, hello, Jersey. Yo, hello, <laughs> New York. Yo, probably not Virginia. <laughs> yeah, Michigan. Michigan. Hey, <laughs> what's up, Michigan? Up, <laughs> all right, what's what's in store today? I'm all good. I really just need to finish up my homework for the week because a lot of stuff's due Friday. And then... I don't know what I'm Okay. So just freestyling. Okay. Well, Dad will be home later tonight. Mm-hmm. Ethan's taking you to school today? Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, tell me about your uh, ride to school yesterday. <laughs> <clears throat> We're playing Christmas music. No, I am not the guy to play Christmas music even before Thanksgiving. But it was extra cold yesterday. The Christmas music was on. And we all just started singing and vibing to it. <laughs> we get to school. Scotty and Trev pull up in the car. We're all packing the cruise. We're all singing Christmas music. It's a good time. That's awesome. Do so, you think it'll be a repeat today? I hope so. Because it's colder today than it was yesterday. It is colder today, so it would be more appropriate today. Exactly. Exactly. Um, Maybe yeah. some New Year's songs. All right. Have a great day at school. All right. Thanks. Love you. See ya. Bye. this morning and I am loving this weather as much as I love warm weather um, it was 51 degrees this morning I think we might have already mentioned that I don't mean to obsess over the um, temperature but it is so glorious to walk out here like I've got long sleeves on I'm actually getting a little bit hot um, and I was able to wear my long leggings finishing up almost five miles it's just so beautiful so hope you guys are enjoying your day I don't know if you're having a cold front where you are but I know that Katie and Brennan are and Ryan's loving it too. So a little taste of home. When we lived in Maryland, our kitties were inside outside kitties. So they would go outside, like just on a whim, they would just go outside. We left our doors open, like our doors open on our deck. So they could just go in and out as they pleased. And they loved being outside. They would run and they would catch animals and climb trees and just be out there for hours. They loved it. So we knew when we moved to Florida, it would be a little bit different, actually a lot different. They'd have to be indoor kitties because A, our neighborhood doesn't allow cats to just roam. Any animal has to be on a leash. And B, there are predators down here that would not be conducive to just letting a cat run around. So um, between birds and alligators and that kind of thing. So we've been very protective and leaving them inside and trying to, I hate to do this, but trying to make them a little bit scared of going outside. So they have been scared, I think, or just not, not not trying to go outside. Like we open the door and they sort of run away. But I would say in the past like two or three days, for some reason, maybe it's because the weather changed. I have no idea. But for some reason now they are clamoring to go outside and I feel so guilty. I feel so bad. So 
Um, this is my idea. If one of you wants to start one of these, I have so many entrepreneurial ideas. I just can't do them all. So I think there should be cat parks. Like there's dog parks. I don't know, um, if there are a lot of, I mean, this is what I think about. Like if there's someone like me that wants to be able to take their cat somewhere to go run, sounds to me like, like I'm probably not the only one. There's probably other people that want to do the same thing. So if we just had a space that we could, and I've designed it in my head, right? But a space that you could go and you just pay by the hour and just sort of let your cat run and it's fenced in, but it has like greenery going up the side so they can climb up, but it's, you know, fenced like on the top and the sides just so they can run and chase and be in the grass and do what they want to do. So if you guys know of something like that, let me know. Look at little Alice. She's trying to make fun on the lanai. Oh, it looks like she's chasing a bug. Do you have a bug there, buddy? What do you have? Oh, good girl, get it, get it, get it, get it. Here you go. Just because cats have that instinct. I mean, they have a hunter, that's what they do. They're, they're hunters and chasers and um, that's what they want to do. So every once in a while, a little gecko comes in. But, oh, get it, get it, get it, Alice, get it. What is it? Get it. She's so excited. She's so excited. Go. Where'd it go? You can hear Edward meowing. He wants to go out so bad, and he is getting a little bit heavy because he's been eating and not exercising. So I don't know what to do. Any advice, let me know. They're definitely safer inside, I will say that. Because they used to come home with scratches and stuff. Oh honey, what is it? What do you see? What do you see, lovey girl? Huh? Time I will share that my peppers are growing. There's one. There's two, where's the, is that the big one? Yeah, there, oops, there's more here and two more down there. So this is exciting. Now, Alice just did play with a pepper plant and a pepper tree and knocked two baby peppers on the ground, but we had a little talk. I don't think she'll do it again. Anybody? Whoa, <laughs> do you have? This is a classic meal when you don't know what to make, but you got <laughs> but you're hungry. bagels, peanut butter, and bananas. It's so good. It looks like a work of art, actually. It does, it's yeah. It's, it's amazing. Alice it's, it's, is uh, it's interested in it, too, I think. Anyway, I'm going to muck on this. We got Thursday Night Football on. Yes. Um, Saints, Cardinals, so it should be a good game. Uh, it's already 10-7, so I don't really know who I'm rooting for, because I have dogs in both fights, <laughs> both sides. Um, I'm playing Alvin Kamara in fantasy though, and that's priority number one. So I need him to not do well. Anyway, Ooh, um, okay. <clears throat> so I just had a pretty productive Thursday. Just my homework went out uh, at sunset when you know everyone's off the course. I played a whole five a couple times. Um, did some just approach shot stuff, and then came back in, started watching Thursday Night Football, I'm about to muck on this. We might make some milkshakes. Uh, I, I think heard, there I might be chocolate remember. milkshakes in our future. I heard a rumor about that. Yes. And then, um, so yeah, I'm enjoying my Thursday night. Fantastic. Me too. Uh, but this is what I'm doing. I'm remaking my bread. I'm She's remaking doing, yeah. some, yep, some rosemary. It is a, a student of the game. I am a student of the game. I wasn't happy with the way the first one turned out, so I'm going to make a little <laughs> modification. It wasn't salty enough, number one, so I'll put a little bit more salt in, and the yeast I don't think worked as well, so I'm going to try a different way to activate the yeast and hopefully make it, um, make it grow a little bit more. So if you didn't watch that vlog yesterday, I think, yes, is when we had my, the, first, um, the first bread. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do until Ryan... Um, is ready to make some milkshakes. And then I get to go pick up Mike at the airport tonight. He lands, he was supposed to land at 11.25, but now it's pushed back to 11.47. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be delayed anymore, but I think it's gonna be a pretty late night for me. So I got some things to do and then I'll go pick up Mike. I'm looking forward to having him home. It's been, for three nights, it'll be good to have him home. I fell asleep watching the football game. He's going to bed now. Good night, Bugger Boo. Yeah, yeah. Love you. He's kind of zombie-like right now. Oh. I am in the cell phone lot at the airport waiting to pick up Mike. I think this is pretty genius, actually, the cell phone lot. Remember before cell phone lots? Not too long ago, you would just drive in circles and circles. 
Sometimes you'd stop and then the police would make it leave and you drive in circles. <laughs> but cell phone lots are genius now. So you just come over here and wait. You get your phone call and you pull up. I think that's so cool. I know that sounds weird. The best cell phone lot we were in Tampa. We went to pick up Nana Pat. And in the cell phone lot, actually I think that was in Baltimore too. They had a big screen, like a big huge screen that showed all the arrivals. Okay, now you guys might be like, that's not so novel, but I thought it was really cool. <laughs> anyway, so it makes it very convenient. So thank you airports for making cell phone lots. I appreciate it. So Mike should be in, well it's 11.58, he was supposed to land at 11.57. I will check the um, app to see if he has landed yet and he should be calling me any minute now. Mike's home. Hi. Hello, baby doll. Mwah. How was your trip, Mikey Mike? I had a great trip. Thank you. Very you much. did? I missed you. I know. I missed you too. It seems like forever. It was three nights. Oh, really? Don't do that again. Just crying for something. So. Oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> did you sleep on the plane? I did, yes. I slept on the plane. I'm a good sleeper on the plane. Yes. Did you snore? Snuggled up next to the lady behind <laughs> uh, right on her shoulder. She didn't mind, I don't think. Of course she didn't mind. <laughs> That's so funny. I have terrible memories of being on a plane, like when I was traveling with work way back before YouTube, and I would like fall asleep and like, like you fall asleep, you're in the middle seat, right? Or, or whichever, you fall asleep and, and I would wait, I'd find myself like with my head <laughs> and my mouth open, like in front of somebody else, like several <laughs> times. I, and maybe it was because like back then, and not that, I don't know, I guess I was more tired, tired or back then. I had little kids back uh, then, right. so it was like lack of sleep and all this. So on a plane, I would just be like, ow. <laughs> now on a plane, I generally work. I generally stay up. I don't sleep, but that. It's easy <laughs> to fall asleep on a plane. It is. There it are is. like two types of people in this world. Those who can sleep on a plane and those who cannot sleep on a plane. <laughs> you were both people who... Well, yes, but I don't anymore, but I, I, I can. I can. I'm very good at sleeping in the car. I love sleeping in the car. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, very good. So let's go home. Are you hungry? Well, thanks for coming to get me. I appreciate You're it. You're welcome. It's, it's 12 o'clock, right? It is. It's midnight. It's past midnight. I appreciate did, it. Did you eat dinner? Um, uh, well, good news, bad news on that one. Uh-oh. What? Do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh-oh. Good news. Well, the good news is I stopped and got a piece of Bella pizza for you to bring back uh -huh. here to you. Uh -huh. The bad news is you left it in the refrigerator. I ate it the <laughs> I couldn't help it. I was so hungry, John. It smells so good. Michael, why didn't you get two? Uh, I should have. That was ahead. very nice of you. That's what I thought. I it was very nice thoughtful. Of you to yes. So that, you know. But the did, heart was willing, execute. but the mind was. <laughs> the stomach was. <laughs> that's so you guys, good too. Oh my gosh, you guys! That's the that's one of the things I miss most, as you know, about Maryland, other than my friends and my and the house, is the pizza. Like, yeah. oh gosh. Yeah, good pizza. We just don't eat pizza down here because I can't find it. He was. Oh, ever I call it an answer, I call it order pizza. Hello, Jill. Hello, <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> we did Monday pizza. Yeah, sorry about Every that. Monday. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll get it next time I go back. I'll get a lot of it. Did you make some food? Uh, I made bread, Mike. You made bread? I did. Really? Yes. I, it surprises me. Why? Why? Well, I, I don't really picture you as a bread maker. <laughs> Michael, wait till you see. Well, it's... We ate it all, so I'm making a second one you right ate now. It all? Yeah. Okay, it. so we both ate each other's food. <laughs> exactly. Well, I I brought the bread to Nana Pops yesterday when I ate when it for dinner. Really? Yes. It's um, roasted garlic rosemary bread. Seriously? Yeah. How'd it come out? Pretty well, except for this time, the second time I made it, um, I put more salt in it because the first time it, did, it wasn't salty enough. Yeah. So I'm, I modified the recipe a little bit, and it didn't rise enough. Uh -huh. So I modified. And the funny thing is, is when you take the bread and you're supposed to let it rise, you let it rise in like in a warm area. Yeah. Like you don't turn the oven on, but just in a warm area. Mm -hmm. And it was way too cold. Like I left the doors open because it was so nice. So I think uh, inside my house was like 65 degrees, and I think it didn't let the uh, bread rise enough. Rise, yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying it again. You guys, I hope I'm not filming too close to me. All right. So I'm trying it again, and we'll be able to bake it <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> It's rising right okay. now. Uh, you know what? You might not be allowed to eat any of it. <laughs> You're listen. being very skeptical of me. I mean. an open mind. And 
not chill you you do some things really really well but you, wait a minute do what? i what do i cook that's bad i well nothing i well other than your bread i mean well, have i ever made bread for you uh let's see banana bread mm. which you love oh yeah you make great banana bread thank you all right i'll give you that okay so you'll have to do a taste test tomorrow okay i'm all in. right we're home, Ooh. jiggity jig. What made you happy, Michael John? Well, thank you for asking. Uh, coming back and seeing you. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. You coming home makes me happy too. Oh. That's what made me happy today. Mwah. And there's something else I did this morning. Oh well, making the new bread. I'm excited <laughs> about that. Stay tuned for our <laughs> taste test. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Comment down below. Made you guys happy today, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. For the latest in live happy and it's the Donnellys merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnellys.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.